What's going on investors? Dust here from Investments. And today I want to bring a video showing you how to set up your MetaMask wallet for the Matic chain, as well as a couple ways to transfer funds into that wallet. I say a couple ways because I want to show you multiple ways to do this because some are more expensive and some are less expensive and and I want to make sure I cover each one of these methods. So before we begin, we like to give a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. So special thanks to these fine folks here. If you would also like to be a Patreon supporter, the link is in the description below. Then we also like to give a shout out to our Discord channel. Link for that is also in the description. All right, so let's get started. I've already made a video covering setting up MetaMask for you and how to set it up for Binance Chain. It's going to be a very similar method. So if you're already familiar with doing that, it'll be easy for you and I'll walk you through it. So here we go. I will leave a link to this Medium article in the description as well in case you want to just copy and paste, which would be an easier method here. So we are going to log into our MetaMask and then on the network type, See, I'm already on the Matic name, mainnet, but yours might say Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. You're going to want to click that drop down and you want to go all the way down to custom RPC. And this is the way you're going to want to fill it in. So your network name is going to be Matic mainnet. RPC URL, you're going to copy and paste that one. Chain ID 137, currency symbol Matic, and block explorer, you're just going to copy and paste that. Then you are going to hit save. And congratulations, your MetaMask is now set up for the Matic mainnet. As you can see, I have no Matic, so we're gonna go ahead and change that. And there is a couple methods to do this, so make sure you watch to the end so you can get an overview of all these methods. I'm gonna start the more expensive and go to the less expensive. So the most expensive method to do right now is to operate in Ethereum. Everyone knows Ethereum gas prices are just too expensive to transact on. Well, it turns out if you were to buy a Matic on an exchange like Coinbase or something, it is actually Matic on the Ethereum network and you need to bridge that over to the Matic network. I know that sounds crazy that you'd buy Matic on Ethereum and you need to transfer it to Matic. This process, you are paying Ethereum gas fees as well as waiting for Ethereum blockchain, so it takes a while. Um, but you would basically go to wallet.matic.network. I will leave a link in the description below. And you would want to move your funds to Matic mainnet. And I'm not gonna walk you through this because I'm not gonna follow this method. I highly recommend you don't do this just so you're not paying Ethereum gas fees. However, if it's your only option, there are tutorials and it will walk you through it right here. Again, just want to give a warning. This is the most expensive method because you're working with the Ethereum network and this would only be something you would use if you have Matic or a coin on the Ethereum network that you want to transfer. So maybe you got USDC and you want to transfer it. You can do it on here. Again, you're going to be paying those fees. Now the next method that I'm going to mention is something i've heard and i'm unable to confirm because i'm not on this exchange but ascendex supposedly if you were to buy the matic on ascendex it is already on the matic network and when you transfer it you can actually transfer it to your wallet again i'm not going to show you this because i'm not on that exchange but if someone has done this and can confirm let me know i have heard it from one source but i don't know how i don't know how truthful that is that this Matic purchase would be on the Matic network. The last method I wanna talk about is actually bridging Matic from Binance Smart Chain. And in this method, there's a couple different bridges you could use. So the one I'm using right now is called Evo DeFi, but there's also one called xpollinate.io, and I'm gonna walk you through this one. So I use Evo DeFi. So this method is assuming you have funds on Binance Smart Chain that you want to transfer over. So if you go to Evo DeFi and click on the bridge, you're gonna to go to the token bridge and it's gonna show you the Binance Smart Chain to the Polygon Chain. And there's three token options you can do. You can do the Gen token, which is their native token, USDC or Ethereum. So what I do is I do USDC. 
So in order to do that, you are going to need to use an exchange. So you're going to go to exchange, connect your wallet, and you want to make sure that you are on the Binance first because that's assuming where your funds are. So I switched to the smart chain here. And I don't want to get rid of my BNB. I want to transfer some BUSD. So I'm going to transfer BUSD into USDC so I can bridge it over to Matic. So I'm going to do $50 just for an example here. And I'm going to get $49.72 in USDC. And I'm going to approve it. Confirm. And then once I get my confirmation, I'm going to swap it. Now keep in mind, I'm still operating on the Binance Smart Chain. So what I did is I swapped $50 of BUSD for $50 of USDC on the Binance Smart Chain. So then I'm going to go back to Evo DeFi. Now that I have Binance Smart Chain USDC, I'm going to click on USDC, connect my wallet again. And it is going to find my $49.77. I'm going to click max and it's going to tell me you can't send less than $50. All right, so I need to do a little more. So let's do another $45. I'll get $44. I'm going to swap, hit my confirm, go ahead, confirm, and wait for the transaction to confirm. And there it is. So then I'm going to go back. Let's do a refresh here and see if my new tokens are in there. So Binance to Polygon, change it to USDC, and now I have 94, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit send, and my order status is now complete. So I should, once I switch to the Poly or Matic network on my, on my MetaMask, I should see that 90 some dollars in that wallet. Now one of the things I do like about this particular bridge and why I'm recommending it is because they send you 0 .0001 Matic with every bridge transaction, which should be enough to make about 50 transactions because Matic transactions are very low in fees. Some of the other bridges aren't going to give you Matic, so if you transfer USDC, you have no way to transfer that at all because you need Matic. So even if you wanted to swap some of your USDC for Matic to make transactions, well, you couldn't. So this is kind of like a faucet at the same time. There are Matic faucets like Matic Supply faucet and Mac and Cheese Finance Matic faucet, but I haven't been successful with either of those. So I just like the Evo DeFi one. So let us now take a look at our MetaMask. So we're going to click our MetaMask. And we're going to go from our Binance Smart Chain over to our Matic network. And we will see we have that 0.001 Matic in our wallet. And then we should have USDC as well. All right, so now to get our USDC to show up, we're going to need to add the token address. And I'll leave this in the description below as well for you. So you can just copy and paste it. But you're going to go add token and paste the contract address USDC. I found this with a Google search. All I did was Matic USDC token contract address and I just went to Reddit. Click next, add my tokens. And now I am able to see my 94 USDC. So now I've successfully funded my MetaMask account and my USDC shows up there. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So in the next video, we're going to start covering QuickSwap, buying coins on there, as well as providing liquidity. Now QuickSwap is the big exchange over on the Matic network. I would say it's the equivalent of like the pancake swap for the Binance Smart Chain. So it's going to be the, the main swap exchange you're going to use on Matic. So I'm going to make the next video covering that. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, especially if you got this far into the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Till next time, later.